If we think about the concept of race, why it was built, why it was constructed, it was an economic decision. There was a need to create a hierarchy in society so that we could then justify having people be enslaved. That system is still in place. We've got to stop thinking about race as something that's about feelings. If business recognized that solving the issue of racism is not the right thing to do, but the smart thing to do, we have the best opportunity to solve this. I am a diversity pragmatist. The role of business is to change the world, and I want to help them do that. We are at the point that we need to be about building an actionable strategic case for inclusion. Diversity is not the end. Diversity is the means to an end. How do you get organizations to start when they're so focused on the numbers? What are we solving for? That's the question that you start with. I think the biggest value of diversity in an organization is innovation. The demographics of this country are changing. Globalization has changed the world. There's no way that any company can hope to be successful unless it has access to a whole different diversity of ideas. Most businesses fail at diversity because they don't really measure what they're doing with the diversity that they have. So if you're solving for innovation, you have to ask the question, which ideas are heard? Which ideas are funded? Which ideas are then put into place and making a difference to the bottom line? If you don't measure that value, you don't really know just how great that value is. You would never take any other resource and just throw it into place and say, let's see what happens. You'd fund those resources, you develop those resources, and then you'd figure out whether those resources were actually doing what they were intended to do. Diversity is that kind of resource. The companies I talk to a lot more now, they have younger leaders. Those are the people who are looking at this from a different perspective. I listen to my daughters, I listen to their friends. They see a world that is very, very problematic and they don't think they have to live with that. They are their own CEOs. They're changing the system from within. If business were to get serious about this, and if it approached racism like it does any other business problem with systems, resources, we could actually solve and deal with the issue of racism, one company at a time.